Hey, wanna listen to some tunes? Today, we have an incredibly sophisticated scientific laboratory in space. Things are so uncomplicated. I wish I could go up there again. Osos, Ogos, OAOs, GIMPs, RAEs, and other scientific satellites carry the experiments of famous scientists from many nations. Yeah, I've got a ticket to the moon, get to the moon. I'll be rising high above the Earth. So let's put this in perspective here. Why is this landing so close to the moon's south pole so significant? Well, so you may know that the farther away from the equator you go, the lower the sun's arc is in the sky. Okay. Until you're near the poles, the sun just barely ambles above the horizon. Okay. If you, the same is true on the moon. If you go to the south pole, where there are craters that have rims, uh -huh. the altitude of the sun over the horizon is not high enough to reach the bottom of the crater. Mm -hmm. So it's literally where the sun don't shine. Okay. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, 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 when the moon's hit by asteroids and comets, comets have water. If water lands in those places, they're called pole traps, and the water never goes away. Well, that's the key there, the water. So you're near water.